it's been almost six years since the upgrade to the Lake Isabella Dam right here began. But as you can see, construction continues. The good news is that after all of that work, phase two is finally wrapping up. We grabbed our safety vests and hard hats and headed down to check out the groundwork. In order to make sure that we were meeting those tolerances. Project, project manager Evan Nelson out. says phase two of the upgrade addressed the risk of the failure that put the dam in such a critical need in the first place. One being seismic faulting, the second being hydrologic overtopping, and the third being uh, piping and seepage underneath or around the dams. All of which is now over 90% done. So we're standing on the upstream side of what we call the labyrinth weir and it's a control structure that we built at the head of our new emergency spillway. He says the 28 feet tall zigzag wall is helping with flood risk mitigation by slowing and controlling the water so that downstream communities like Bakersfield are protected in that rear event. And just to show you how massive it is, this is me at five foot two standing next to it. But while that project was going on, the work continued on the other side. We raised both dams by 16 feet and excavated the new emergency spillway to prevent both dams from being overtopped. They also added a thick layer of sand where the Kern County Fault runs through to mitigate seismic failure and also added filter and drain layers to control the water moving through the dam. They finished all of these projects in October and by doing so, putting the project under substantial completion, getting them closer to that initial fill of the lake. Right now, we think we're in good shape to fill the lake this next spring. Uh, the recent storms we had have had a great impact on our water levels. We've doubled the amount of water in the lake since the start of January, but we still have quite a ways to go to get back to our normal water elevations. But all of that is dependent on Mother Nature and how much rain we get before the spring. Initially, February 1st was a set goal date to raise the water limit to 240,000 acre feet. But that is not the case since they're not even at the ideal normal operation average of 170,000 acre feet. Our goal is to get permission to go above restricted pool this spring. If we don't get enough runoff to do that, we will roll that exception over into the next year and try again. In the meantime, the final touches to phase two continue and will tentatively wrap up in spring with phase three starting the more operational aspect. Starting our phase three of the project, we're going to be building a new operations building for the Corps of Engineers, uh, a visitor center in Lake Isabella for the U.S. Forest Service, and also doing some restoration work on a campground downstream of the main dam. And again, construction for phase three is around the corner, but the expected end date for all of this is mid 2025. In Lake Isabella, Vanya Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you.